Hey, Mike McElroy here for Cardiovascular Sales. Today I'm going to go through a video tutorial of how to use the IE33. We'll go through the basics of ergonomics, plugging in transducers, entering patient data, scanning, and actually uh, saving the exam. And at the end, you'll be able to fundamentally go ahead and start, start scanning on the system. If there are specifics that you need that aren't mentioned in the video, because this is more for the basics, more for the quick start, then you'll need to just refer to the user's manual. First, we'll go through the system ergonomics. First thing we'll see is a handle. Well, on the handle is a, is a button. You push that and you can move the keyboard entirely up and down. Next is the monitor. It's, it's located on an articulating arm in the back, as you can see. If it gets to a point where you can't get it exactly where you want, you might need to double check that arm in the back and make sure it is established in a good location. Here I just swung it over completely to the other side so we can move the monitor way out in that direction if you need be. Very flexible, tilt, tilt the monitor up and down. The ECG cable connects down below in the front and there's other phono cables and uh, connections and so forth there as well. There's transducer holders all around the instrument. And in the middle of the, of the system is where you'll find the DVD player, recorder, and your transducer connectors, it holds three, and your CW connector, and the on-off button. So let's go ahead and start an exam. Make a mistake, just hit the backspace key. And you can tab or enter to get to the next Middle initial, patient ID. I'll just enter that. We can tab through or enter through. Sonographer MM. Study description, date of birth. And you will need to put the year in unless you adjust that otherwise. When you're done, you can simply hit the close button you'll see on the bottom of the screen. And trackball key and select keys. So we'll just move the trackball to close and hit select. And now we're live scanning and it'll also automatically change the presets back to our normal preset that we were using for adult cardiac. The keyboard is laid out with your trackball in the center with most of your functions you'll use constantly around the trackball, TGCs and LGCs or lateral gain control here. So you'll use all those all the time. The touch screens are very nice because they're laid out with your basic modes on the right and supporting things on the left like loop, annotate, physio to adjust your ECG and so forth. And they update with your mode. So when you're in color mode, the soft keys change so automatically they're set up for scale, baseline, and so forth to manage your color flow study. On the left side of the keyboard we have review, report, end exam, and patient data. So if we're going to start an exam we'll go ahead and hit patient data. So anytime you're just imaging at any point you hit freeze and scroll is automatic. We just scroll right through and you'll see in the bottom of the screen where we can scroll. And also on the bottom of the screen, there is an F number, which is frame number. So we have over 500 frames stored here. Now let's take a look if we want to see that live. We'll hit the loop button. And now we have a replay option. We'll click replay. And now you can see on the screen, we're replaying that last piece of loop that we acquired. Now, if you want to see more on the bottom left, are the trim left and trim right buttons or knob in this case so we'll roll that knob back and then you can see on the bottom of the screen we're increasing the size of our looped region or amount of time if we trim the right you can now see the right marker scroll in and now the amount of time we're showing is less so if there was an ECG and it was multiple beats, we could easily jump to earlier or later beats. We can now record uh, on videotape or go ahead and hit the acquire button for this. 
and it will put it into the memory. And then let's take a look on the screen. You can see on the right are all those images that we acquired.